morning movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, last week I gave you a lots of luck workout where we did lower body, upper body, and cardio, but low impact. Today, I'm gonna give you a little bit more luck. This is a fun format. We're gonna do lower body, upper body, core, and cardio kickboxing. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier, but that does spell luck, in fact. So, are you ready to get some luck this workout today? You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells, so grab those, and I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Your format will be that 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to transition. All right, take breaks as you need in between. I'll pause for a little bit of a break throughout the workout, but if you need longer, be sure to take it. Hey, if you missed that other workout, you can click or tap the card at the top of the screen and get your Irish on. Lots of luck coming your way. All right, are you ready to move daily with this one? Let's go. High intensity intervals on my watch today. Let's warm things up and get ready to go here. Squat, nice little reach right here. Good, stay here, front and back bends. Knees are soft, just a nice hinge at the waist. One more here. Nice. Ooh, take it wide. Play it here. And touch your toes right here. Two more here. Good, hold on to something, knee is soft. We're gonna swing that leg right here. Okay, about 15 per side. Make sure your foot is flexed so you don't hit the ground. There's five. Five more. And switching sides. And swing. Five more. And let's add some uh, roundhouses here as well with a squat in the center. Really want to get that ball and socket warmed up for those cardio kickboxing moves. Right? A lot of high kicks <laughs> coming up. Four more here. And we're just gonna kick that leg out here. 10 aside. Swing the arms. There's 10, switch your side. And shoulder circles, tap it out. Reverse directions. Good, some knee grabs here. Just stretching that hip a little. 
Switching sides. Oh yeah. I did a big walk this morning already. Had some hills. I'm feeling my legs a bit. Good thing we've got some core and upper body thrown in here as well. One more each side. Switch here. We'll just finish off with 15 calf raises to warm up those Achilles and your calves and heels. 10 more. In three, two, and one. There's your first luck circuit, starting with lower body, and here we go. I'm starting with that tiptoe squat. I hold 15s. All right, we're gonna plant one foot. We're gonna go on the tiptoe of the other side. I'll call halfway and we'll switch toes. Reach your hips back. Drop it low and drive. Back is tall, chest is up and out. Last one on this side. Switch your toe. All right, I'll set those here. You're gonna go into that single double Arnold press. I think I'll just start with tens. Warm those shoulders up. Single side, single side. We'll hit that double. Single here and here. Now both. Good. Knees are soft. So you're not arching the back on that press and don't look at the dumbbells when they're above here. Straight ahead. We're gonna do a standing ab to start with. I'll call halfway, knee is soft. I want you to reach out and then we're gonna drive the knee in and crunch those lower abs to the upper abs here. Here we go, so we reach, crunch, reach and crunch, great. Switch your side. All those stabilizer muscles need to activate. You're focusing on some balance here as well, of course. Reach and crunch. All right, we warmed that leg up for our kick a little bit in our cardio kickboxing. You're going to step forward, front kick, step back, back kick. So you're here and here, I'll call half. Step and kick and kick, good. Last one on this leg, and switch. Other side kick, and back. Okay, round two. Excellent, I'm gonna go back to 15s. 
for my tiptoe squat. One toe planted, drop it low and drive. Last one here, switch your toe. into that Arnold. Single double, single, single double here. Go into that core, knee drive and reach, okay. Again, balance is key here. So a, a softened uh, stationary leg and we reach and crunch. Lay it out and draw it in. Last one here, switch your leg. Holy, I feel that one everywhere. Lower lumbar, glute, abs. <laughs> Let's go into the cardio kickboxing. Front kick, back kick, I'll call half on the leg. Here we go. Up and back. Switch sides. All right, very good. Round three. I think I'll go to 20s. Let's kick it up a bit. Switch your foot. Take it up to 12s for my Arnold as well. 
When I know it's the last round, I often will challenge myself to get close to that fatigue. Nice, Whew. let's fire into the uh, core with that balanced knee drive. Do you try to make sure that your hips are facing the ground? Don't wanna rotate in that hip. Switch sides. And let's move into that kickboxing one more time. Whew. All right, it's climbing. All right, let's go, work hard. One, two, go. Last kick, switch legs. Very good, 30 second water break, grab a drink. You see the next luck circuit right there. Grab the weights that you need and join me back. I'm starting with that front lunge dumbbell pass. I'm gonna pass the dumbbell under my legs. You could pass it in front if you don't have the length in your arms. Shoulders back and we drop and pass. Other side, drop and pass. Nice. Let's go down onto the ground. We're gonna go into a wide, narrow chest press. I'll hold 15s. Then I'm gonna add a glute bridge each time as well. Start wide, turn narrow at the top. Everything is up and turn, down and open. Stay over the chest. And flex at the top right here. Great, 
feet. Set those down, stay down here for your core, which is gonna be that banana boat rocker. This is your banana boat, you can hold it. I'm gonna rock, this is so hard. Break as you need. Here we go. So your biceps are right by your ears. All right, if you need support for your neck, you're here instead. Break as you need again. I'm shocked. I didn't hold the arms, but I held the legs. All right, cardio kickboxing. We're gonna hear six punches and then snowboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, low and board. One, two, three, four, five, six, low and pivot for low impact. Nice and tall, and we pass. chest and press up and down touch the ground with the elbows Perfect, I'm staying down here for that core, banana boat rocker. All right, with or without the modifications. Ready, and rock right here, side and side.
up for cardio. I must be getting stronger at that. I remember a time where I, I couldn't do that for a full 45. That's encouraging. All right, six punches, snowboard hop. Okay, round three. Whew. Front lunge here. Nice and tall. I like that. Fun and different. All right, on your back. Wide narrow press. I'll stick with 15s. And push. Put your mind in your chest. Think about those chest muscles pushing and flexing at the top. And set those weights down. Banana boat. Try to hold this longer than you did last time. Even one hand can hold to support your head. Ten seconds here. And come to standing. Last snowboarder punch. Six punches. And that snowboard, get nice and low in your squat. These are soft and punch right here.
Okay, 30 second water break. Take a look at the next luck circuit. Grab your weights and join me. Okay. I'm gonna hold that 15 for my sumo squat foot sweep, hitting a little bit of inner thigh and a little bit of glute wide stance on your squat. Drop it low. I'll call halfway on that foot sweep. Shoulders back. You're here and sweep, same side. Really wide in that stance so you can get low. Switch your sweep side. Make sure your foot is flexed so you're targeting that inner thigh on your sweep. And I'll hold 12s for that pull complex. So your pull is a bent over row, high pull hammer curl combo. All three, it's gonna be whatever you can probably high pull. Here we go, and we row. High pull here, into hammer curl here, elbows in. Hinge, row, high pull, hammer here. Be sure you're standing all the way up before you hit that high pull. And moving into your core. I'll take it to the ground for the plank alternating tap out. Right opposite hand and foot tap. You can tap one or the other to mod or just hold the plank. Bum down and we tap. Opposite hand and foot punch, and then we'll do a low quarter turn. Opposite, opposite, quarter turn. Here we go, core engaged. One, two, one, two. All right, back to your foot sweep. I'll hold a 20 this time. Nice wide sumo squat. Drop it low. Same side.
I'm grabbing 12s for that pull complex. <clears throat> Starting with that bent over row. Upright row, hammer curl. All right, let's go into core. Into that plank, tap out. You can make this more challenging by stacking the feet if you'd like. All right, just tapping hands and going for that, uh, uh, not the tripod, but a two-legged stance. Nice. Let's go into that cardio. Low impact, you could just stay right there without that twist hop, okay? <clears throat> Let's work. One, two, quick, one, two. Last one on this side, switch your leg. complex. Hinge at the waist, flat back. Get those elbows in on your hammer curl.
Very good, into your core. You can make this more challenging by lifting leg and foot like a bird dog. Otherwise, tap and tap. Core is completely stable, facing the ground. No rotation of the hip, okay, or torso at all. And don't let that upper back sag either. Round it up through the shoulder blades, okay, but not the lower back. Nice and flat there. All right, finishing off with this cardio kickboxing. Then we're gonna go into the ultimate core exercise as a finisher. We're gonna hold a plank. So stay tuned for that and challenge yourself. Here we go. One, two, one, two. second water break then join me down on the ground mod the plank from your knees if you need I'm gonna do a forearm and toe plank all right I'm holding it for at least three minutes all right from the core elbows and toes or knees to mod ready and pop it here three minutes is on the clock now feel free at any point to mod from the knees okay walk it up to the hands this is a bit easier all right, or make it more challenging by really thinking of drawing the elbows to the toes and your toes to your elbows. Wow, just in that one nanosecond, you feel everything activate. All right, I'm gonna play some good music for you here. And focus on your breath. Don't scrunch your hands up or clasp them together. Just palms face the ceiling. Enjoy this time. Focus, do some deep breathing, and let's strengthen that core. You're already a minute down. Easy breezy, folks. I'll stick with it. Sometimes it's not the abs, it's the elbows on this guy. This is not the best mat for elbow work. <laughs> I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have raw elbows here, I can tell. I'm gonna just pop to hands for a second. All right, I'm taking it back down because we only have just over a minute left. <sighs> Relax the hands. seconds left doing well to struggle though we can do hard things <sighs> 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 
Not as you need, last 15 seconds. All right, you're doing well. Count it with me. You've got four, three, two, one and done. Ha. You move daily <laughs> in your lots of luck workout. All right, stay down here for a stretch if you can. All right, let's have a seat on the ground. I'm gonna go right into a glute stretch here. Bring that leg across, draw it in. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's tight. The kisser is tight. Uh, I did a big walk this morning with my friend Denise. We walk multiple times a week. We try to do uh, a couple of different loops up here in Kettle Valley. So we do the Lakeshore loop. We do one if it's dark, you know, in the morning, early, early morning, we do a street loop. Otherwise, there's lots of creatures about. <laughs> They're all stirring. Uh, lots of deer. And they're big. We ran into a huge elk or deer or whatever it was this morning with all the big horns and they're a bit scary over in these neck of the woods because they chase you like if you have a dog you definitely want to have the dog on a leash and close to you it's they're so common here <laughs> it makes me kind of think like I was in Australia a few weeks ago and I was with a lady Lorraine who I randomly met because I said I announced that I was going to Australia and she's like oh I live in Melbourne and and then I'm like, oh, can I go for a walk with you? <laughs> I invited myself. Anyway, she took me up on the offer, which was fabulous. And took me to the, this back 40 place. Uh, it looked like it was a mountain biking um, mountain. And anyway, I was desperately wanting to see some kangaroos, of course. And the way I reacted when I saw them was like a school, little schoolgirl, <laughs> like, who got an A on her paper. Like, uh, it's like I'd never seen a creature before. Anyway, it's funny because it's like when tourists come to Kelowna and they see a deer and they stop and take photos. Meanwhile, we're like trying to shoo them out of our garden so they don't eat all of our flowers, right? So <laughs> it's what you're used to. But seeing those kangaroos and hopping, I was, it was quite a thrill. In fact, she said to me, you're actually quite lucky because not a lot of Australians even get to see like a whole pod of kangaroos. Pod? Is that what they're called? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, now that I've seen kangaroos and talked about kangaroos, that's all I'm seeing on my Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> things from Australia and kangaroos and koalas and everything else. It's kind of funny. Anyway, my daughter didn't get to see them with me when we were over there because she had a uh, orientation that morning, which was too bad. But she just told me that she is going to the zoo over there tomorrow. So she'll get to see something. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a thrill sometimes. Let's reach up and over here. Anyway, I just kind of find it funny that people take pictures of deers because they're so commonplace. But of course, if you're from an area that you don't see them or from, you know, a downtown urban area, then how would you, of course. So it is pretty thrilling. Okay, rotate, drop those shoulders. I like this little kickboxing in there. Uh, I know some of you like the no repeat workouts, but there really is good value in repeating the same exercise and seeing if you can challenge yourself in your weight amounts. I sort of said that at the beginning there, I like to go heaviest on that third round. And the reason being, let's take a hand behind the back and gently pull, tilt your neck the same way, is I want to make sure that I don't have many reps left in reserve, RIR. And so in round one, I'll let myself have like between, you know, maybe three or four, or two or three reps in reserve, which means I could have done two or three or three or four more reps. In round two, switch arms here, I want only like two to three reps left in reserve. So yeah, I could have done at least two or three more with good form. In the last round, I want zero to one reps left in reserve. So it's really challenging for the muscles because that's what causes the muscle to adapt to the load, right? So if you have a heavier load or more fatigue in the muscle, the muscle has to recruit more fibers and adapt in order to sustain the load. So that's how you get muscle growth. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your wellness and nutrition now. I'll see you in the next workout. If you're looking for something for tomorrow, click or tap right here. See ya.